All right, back again. So I want to talk about just um, in our healing, right? When it comes down to it, one of the, the, the big things to think about and to consider when healing, because I know it can be various messages that people hear on YouTube um, in regards to the information spread in this community about narcissists. Um, one of the big things that can help you is to, to realize is that the narcissist is not some big, bad, wolf, supernatural entity. That's only going to complicate things and make your healing much more difficult. I'll tell you why. Um, everything that the narcissist is based off is um, fear. Right? And a narcissist is about getting to other people first before they get to them. So the narcissist operates their whole life in fear. And just let that sink in. These are very fearful, hypervigilant individuals that have just learned how to be the aggressor and put themselves in position to not get hurt, to use others, to play the game, all protecting themselves while exposing others right when i say exposing others their vulnerabilities um whatever you know things that a person could be vulnerable or sensitive to this is what the narcissist has mastered doing not because they're this just evil villain so to speak that's untouchable Keyword untouchable. Ways that they do and how they are, yeah, can be perceived as evil, but it's not for you to digest the information in a fearful manner when you're thinking about the narcissist. No. It's for you to grasp and understand the operation of how narcissists are. OK. One of the things um, that you have to understand, too, as well, is if you are looking at them in that way, you're going to automatically make it 10 times more difficult for yourself to heal and get past and move on from the narcissist. How many of you came up or known bullies in school? The bully always picking on people, antagonizing people to give the perception off that they were not to be played with, not to be touched. Um, they were excellent at picking their battles, right? If they did happen to get into a fight, it was with someone who they knew they could beat or someone who they knew couldn't really readily present harm to them. Right. That's a narcissist in a nutshell. The bully who is able to convince many of you that they are more than what they are. And so by that fact, by that, that point, you give them much more energy and uh, capabilities over yourself when it's actually not that. In all actu actuality, it really ain't. The narcissist is basically a coward who's managed to strike fear upon those who they have used, abused, 
targeted whatsoever. And for those of you who are trying to heal from it, you have to really understand that something about you made them feel safe enough to do that. Right? I'm not going to say that all the victims of narcissists were helpless, weak, because on average, that's not the case. Many of you are strong-minded, strong-willed individuals. You just happened to run into someone who was able to use a weakness of yours emotionally. Primarily, it's an, an, an emotional uh, weakness that you have, a soft spot that you had uh, for them or for the situation. Most of you just felt sorry for them. There was no real, like you were weak and it was none of that. You just felt sorry for them. And by having that soft spot in your heart, it allotted, it allotted you to be manipulated by the narcissist. It allotted you to be hurt by the narcissist. All right? It'll, it will it it put you in a position and allowed you to give them leeway, to give them, um, you know, exceptions without fully cutting them off, without fully um, responding the way you should have responded to them. Yeah. That's what it did. And the narcissist took advantage. They took advantage of it. They took advantage of that soft spot that you had in your heart for them. They took advantage of you not putting your foot down and saying, oh, well, because most of you internally you're not that type of person. You're, you're not a person that can turn on the harshness when needed, even when you're being mistreated, even when you're being used and, you know, being used as a scapegoat, being, you know, um, wrongfully accused and whatever it may be. You still don't have it within you to just turn that cold heart and that's what you wrestle with in the midst of your cognitive dissonance and confusion and all of that you wrestle with the side of you that says don't be so hard don't be so cold because you say well that's not me and you see it in a lot of instances where you can a lot of people identify themselves universally and generalize the way that they are as a whole to others. How many of you, you ever watch something and a person is describing something in a certain type of people and the person will be like, well, I'm not like that. I wouldn't do that. And that's that's where you're messing up at. Because it's not talking about you as the individual. It's talking about the other examples that do operate in a certain way. Stop comparing yourselves and putting yourselves in the shoes of people and things that you do not have any knowledge of or awareness fully about. They're not talking about you. All right. So learn how to identify with how you would operate and not saying, OK, well, I would never do something like that. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. But you cannot turn and say that just because you wouldn't do it, that or other person wouldn't either. 
And that is another big thing that gets people caught up because that goes into giving the benefit of the doubt. I I call it benefit of the doubt syndrome. That just because you wouldn't, you automatically assume that the narcissist wouldn't, even though you don't know they're a narcissist yet, you assume that they wouldn't. And it's not saying that you should be, you know, um, critical and judgmental upon every person. No, it's not saying that. It's saying, wait till you fully know and understand who you're dealing with before you give them that benefit of the doubt. Otherwise, you should be neutral. You don't know if they will. You don't know if they won't. Stay neutral. Um, Don't include how you are to the equation. And what you would do. And how you would act and so forth and so on. Don't don't do that. Instead, observe, stay neutral, observe. And only call what you see, only go off what you see and what you've experienced from that person or that situation. But again, I digress back into the subject at hand of Believing that narcissists are these impenetrable, impenetrable types of creatures that exist is just far fetched. They're not. They're they're just very well versed at conning, manipulating, tricking and deceiving based off a person's emotions. You still have the power to alter the way those things play out. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, book a one-on-one appointment. If you're interested, just click the link in the description box and shoot me an email. My email is right there. Anyway, have a good one. Take care.